Carlos in Menomonee Falls, Wisconsin. They have some cool names out there in Wisconsin. Hey Paul, it's been about five years that I daily watch your videos and hope to keep doing it as long as you keep posting them. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's very kind. <laughs> These are fun for me to do. Uh, more than a question, it's a curiosity of mine. Would there, uh, where would it be the preferred use of the power plant if one needs to choose between connecting the sources placed on the sidewall or the power amps placed between the speakers far from each other? I'm just using a long power cord in my system to hook up everything, but I haven't done any A-B comparisons yet. So what are your thoughts on this subject? Well, my immediate thought is, you need a power plant on everything. <laughs> That's what I do. So for those of you that don't know, a power plant is an AC regenerator, which means we take the power, the AC power, out of the wall, and we regenerate new power. We convert it to a DC voltage, and then we regenerate new AC with very low impedance, no distortion. And, and the key here is that it is regulated, highly regulated AC voltage. W what comes out of your wall is not regulated at all. If you, you ever flick on a light switch and see the, uh, I'm sorry, uh, plug in a hair dryer and see the lights dim in your, or maybe your oven kicks on and you see the lights dim. That's because the voltage is dropping, which is normal. There is a lot of impedance in our wires, resistance, and as we draw current on a shared circuit, the, the voltage drops. Well, the same thing happens when you have a hi-fi system. The power amps will, as they're delivering power, they make the voltage go like this. So one of the great things about a power plant is it's fully regulated, so that never happens. And it has extremely low impedance, which we can, we can talk about at some other date. I prefer, if you can only have one power plant, put it on all the sources. Now that might sound counterintuitive because after what I just said, if you put it on the power amps, then the power amps have perfectly regulated power. The thing is, there's no free lunch, right? So imagine a power plant on your power amps and your power amps are grinding away at doing their job providing wattage to your speakers. Well, the power plant is delivering perfectly regulated power to your amplifiers. But as I said, that doesn't come for free. And the power plant is 80% efficient, 81%, something like that. So that other 20% is being chewed up at the wall, okay? So now your voltage, if you just had your power amps plugged directly into the wall, you'd be getting this much. With a power plant, they get perfect power, but everything else that doesn't have a power plant is getting more because the power plant's drawing more power from the wall to provide perfect power to your power plants. So if you only have one, put it on the most sensitive of equipment, your sources, your preamp, your transports, your DAC and all that. That way, regardless of what the power amps are doing, or even if there is a power plant on the power amps, power plant, power, <laughs> you, you won't feel it at your sources and you'll have the best sound quality possible. I hope that helps and <laughs> too many power this and power that. All right, thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye.